So I got this pairing on April 14th, 2021. <laughs> They're so tiny. Okay, so here is the first few second in stars, so those should be third in star within the next little while. Quite healthy, uh, yeah. Then we still have a few first in star, let me see if I can find them. Ah, there's some. About five days after I last recorded, uh, they're developing, they have patterns now, they're still L2, but now they have their little spikes, so that's really good. They're getting big and thick. been about a week and a half since I last filmed. Most of them are in star three now. There's a couple that are still in star one or two. That's impressive. So, but yes, they're getting very dense very quickly. They have their little spikes now. Okay, so I think this one is L4. There is definitely L4 in the box. But I'm too lazy to look for them because we switched to a big box with many. Uh, we have lost many caterpillars. There is only 11 left. But hopefully we can do this right. And if we don't, I also have insurance because a female, another female showed up at the moth light last night. So, yes, this guy is very wiggly under my headlight. So here we have two possible fifth in stars. They're probably a late fourth in star. Soon they will be fifth. So we're almost done with the life cycle. We're so close. Uh, in other news, I found another rosy maple female. So we're going to have many, many, many caterpillars soon. So, yes. Might sell some or something. I don't know. But yes, these guys are very chunky. Okay, so I have some that are for sure L5. They're very large. Got two for sure L5s. Uh, one thing I did notice 
And this wasn't, I couldn't find this anywhere. So there's color variations. There's a lighter one and there's a darker one. And then, yeah. So they, yes, their spikes are very large. They will pupate in the next few days. Five or six days, I think. So that's good. So we're almost there. So close. Right at the end of the school year. These two are very large. They're absolute monsters. They're very thick. Uh, and surprisingly, the different colors stayed. I don't know if that's normal or not. But So, then this guy is also L5, but he's a little bit smaller. He'll get big soon, though. So, yes. angry I, it's about a week later and they have all, all three of them have successfully pupated. They're doing good. All alive and well. Ow, dang. <laughs> Those spikes are actually sharp, I guess. Okay. Yeah, they got some pretty cool looking pupa. Yes, in a little while they should hatch, although I might actually not be here when they hatch, so that's not going to be good. We'll see. Oh, they did in fact hatch while we were gone. Uh, all three were males. Uh, they're quite destroyed. <laughs> Uh, there was that one caterpillar that was still like L3 when these guys pupated, so he pupated while we were gone, so he'll hatch next week or the week after. So, the final rosy maple hatched. Uh, he is also male, so I do not get any eggs, which is a shame, but just kind of how it goes. All four were male, uh, but yeah, he yeah, this evening, uh, it's been a long, long time since those eggs hatched. That was like April 14th or something. That was a long time ago, but, yeah. Uh, as soon as it stops raining, which is doing quite heavily right now. Tomorrow night, I'll set me free if it's not raining. Because uh, there's no good reason to keep them. I already have specimens of them. Uh, 
Yeah. He deserves to at least live on a good life. So I didn't do that. But yeah. He's pretty healthy and all. Very, very tiny though. I don't think those were super good genes at all, but that's okay. Hey, speed. Oh. Okay, yeah, that was pretty steep. Yeah, so that'll set him free. So now I'll put him in the fridge so he doesn't destroy himself doing this. Uh, yeah. The fridge doesn't kill them, that's usually the freezer. For anyone who was going to complain in the comments. Okay. But yes. It was a very, very long journey, but we have gotten to the end of the road. Perhaps next year I shall try again and succeed better, but yes. Well, it is the end of an era. It's been more than three months since I got that pairing, so it's a little bit sad, but... I think it's better for him to be out there and have a chance to breed. Have some nice offspring. Even though he was tiny, he still looks really good. Hopefully he doesn't get eaten by a bat. Uh, yeah. Next year, I will definitely do it again. It was very fun. Yeah. Anyways, here's the slow motion of setting history.